These next set of problems deal with dividing mixed numbers together. And there are two rules that we need to remember when dividing mixed numbers. Our first rule is that when division involves mixed numbers, we always need to convert these mixed numbers into their improper fractions. Our second rule that we need to remember is dividing a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So now that we know these two rules, let's get on with the first question. First we have 3 times 4 over 5, all divided by 3 times 1 over 2. Now back to our first rule, because these involve mixed numbers, we have to convert these into improper fractions. So we'll start times with 3 times 4 over 5. We know that the denominator is going to be the same, so we're going to leave it at 5. And then to find the numerator, we take 5 times 3 and add on 4. So 5 times 3 gives us 15, and then 15 plus 4 leaves us with 19. Now let's turn 3 times 1 over 2 into its improper fraction. Again, the denominator is going to stay the same at 2, and then to find the numerator, we take 3 times 2 and then add on 1. 3 times 2 gives us 6, and then 6 plus 1 leaves us with 7. So now that we have our improper fractions, now it's time to divide. But we know that division is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So let's take the reciprocal of 7 over 2. We're going to leave 19 over 5 the same, and then we're going to multiply 2 over 7. We see if any cross terms can cancel out, and in this case nothing can be reduced down, so we just follow with the multiplication. We're going to have 19 times 2 as our numerator, and our denominator as 5 times 7. 19 times 2 is 38, and then 5 times 7 is 35 but we have to convert this improper fraction into its mixed number. So we ask, how many times does 35 go into 38? In this case, it only goes in once. So our whole number out front is going to be 1. Our denominator of our fraction is going to be the same as the denominator as the mixed number, so 35. And then to find our numerator, we take our numerator of our improper fraction and subtract it by 35 times 1. And 38 minus 35 times 1 is the same as 38 minus 35, so we're left with 3. So our fraction is 3 over 35. And our final answer is 1 times 3 over 35. Now moving on to our next question, we have 1 times 1 over 2, all divided by 2 times 1 over 4. Now back to our first rule, we have to convert these mixed numbers into their improper fractions. So let's start with 1 times 1 over 2. The denominator of its improper fraction is going to be the same, so 2. And then to find the numerator, we take the 2, multiply it by the 1, and then add 1 up top. So 2 times 1 gives us 2, and then 2 plus 1 is 3. So our improper fraction is 3 over 2. Now we have to divide it by the improper fraction of 2 times 1 over 4. Again, the denominator is going to stay the same. And then to find the numerator, we take 4 times this 2, and then add the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 1 is 9. Now our next rule is that division is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we're going to take the reciprocal of 9 over 4. So we have 3 over 2 is the same, multiplied by 4 over 9. Now we can see if anything can cancel out diagonally. The 3 and the 9 can be reduced down by dividing each by 3. And the 2 and the 4 can be reduced down by dividing each by 2. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 2 divided by 2 is 1, all multiplied by 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we're left with our final answer of 2 over 3. Now moving on to the final question, we have 9 times 2 over 5, all divided by 7 times 3 over 5. Now we have to convert each of these mixed numbers into their improper fractions. So 9 times 2 over 5 as an improper fraction is going to have the same denominator, so we're going to keep 5, and then the numerator is just 5 times 9 plus 2. 5 times 9 gives us 45, and then 45 plus 2 leaves us with 47. So our improper fraction is 47 over 5. And then we have to divide that by the improper fraction of 7 times 3 over 5. So the numerator is going to stay the same as 5, and then we multiply 5 times 7, and then add on 3. 5 times 7 is 35, and 35 plus 3 is 38.
Now to turn this into multiplication, we just have to multiply by the reciprocal of 38 over 5. So we keep 47 over 5 as the same, and then we multiply it by 5 over 38. Then we can see that these 5s can cancel each other out, so we're just left with 47 over 38. But we have to change this improper fraction into its mixed number. So first you see how many times does 38 go into 47. And in this case, it only goes into 47 once. Then we have our fraction beside our whole number with the same denominator as the denominator in the improper fraction. And then to find the numerator, we take the numerator of our improper fraction, so 47, and we subtract it by 38 times 1. So we're left with 47 minus 38, which is 9. So our numerator is going to be 9, and our final answer is 1 times 9 over 38.